Welcome to Pokemon Let's Play Retrospective. Um, today's episode we're not gonna take on the Pokemon League, we just want to take some items. Mm. I defeated the trainers that are around here, except this guy. I think I didn't beat these. Okay, I didn't defeat these two. We need cut, I forgot that I removed it from my team. All the cut users. And I forgot I didn't defeat these trainers. Oops. Oh god, water pools. We might do some side quests. No, it depends how we can manage to do it. If it takes too long, we probably skip it. Oh, let me switch to a funny peel. We need Blazium to get a little bit of experience so it has enough bulk to take on break. Break break from Garchomp and then one head KO with Ice Beam. So basically that's the plan. And we can surf here. I I guess. I was about to use Brick Break. I don't know if we have Tentacle in our deck, so let's get an Tentacle encounter and have it get done it. Yeah, Tentacle is. Tentacle in this game is pretty useful. I think some speedrunners used in Diamond and Pearls speedruns as a Pokemon they get easy access to, you can catch them at really high levels. It has Hydro Pump, which is already big base pull, but you can teach it Surf, you can... I don't think you need anything else, to be honest. Ice Beam you can teach it. Ice be Water Ice Coverage is pretty useful. I don't know what else Tentacruel can learn from the in-game run that's, um, that you might need. In competitive it's just a rapid spinner with that can lay toxic spikes. I didn't think we would need to talk about Tentacruel. I was preparing uh, something to talk about. Wormadam because we completely skipped talking about Wormadam and I think I defeated all the Wormadam trainers that we may have encountered off screen. So Wormadam is the female evolution of Burmy. It's bad. That's all you need to know. Basically it has three different forms and one form is a grass bug type which is more specially orientated, but because it's a grass type, it dies quickly. Uh, you can run a special attacking set with Leaf Storm, Energy Ball, Psychic, and a hidden power of your choice. S yeah, Smogon also recommends a spec set. Maybe you want to run signal beam but why would you? As the sandy form is a bug ground, the only other bug ground Pokemon is a Ninkada but it's not fully evolved and if Ninkada evolves it's no longer that type. And we got Dream Eater which is pretty useless. So we're gonna sell Dream Eater I think. We need the extra defense to take Garch on Garchomp. I think there's somewhere another... 
I can you know let's see where did we in up here okay so I can't see the rocky breath from here but there is one it's barely visible so you maybe not gonna get this puzzle right Does this guy want? Yes, a sandy form is used as a uh, recommended as a blesser setter. In game, I would not use any Burmy because it's a honey tree Pokemon. Um, really luck based which version you get, and the stats are just not on par. The male version may be the best one, and it's putting it kindly. They have anything useful? We found a max revive. Nice. We cannot sleep in the bed. Our coin toss. Wow. That's really something we needed. Let's see what's here. Oh, oh if we go there, we can find a rare candy, I think. What's this? Protein. Can we give it Staraptor? Probably the only one who wants to use it. And Infernape has exploded stats. Okay, we're gonna sell the protein. Uh, Smogon recommends a uh, Rain Setter set with Rain Dance, Bug Bite, Earthquake, and Toxic. A Rest Talk set with Earthquake and Toxic, that's pretty much it. The last form is Trash, but I mean, its name is Bomber than Trash form. And it's a Steel Bug type, but why would you use that over Scissor and... What was it? What was it? A Fortress, it's also a Stealth Fox. Setup potentially and toxic gyro ball sunstone is in the ball. Great, very questionable. Let's see if there's anything hidden. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Max Repel. So it's a pretty slow attacker with Toxic and Protect. I think nothing else is used. It has good defenses, awful HP, awful attack stats. 69, wow. And the ground type move, Sandy Form, has good defenses. Better, uh, but at least. It's attack that it's close to hitting the benchmark. Pretty sad. Yeah, there's no rare candy. Maybe I was misremembering. Oh, okay, this is there. How do I... Can I get there? This would be interesting. There was a hidden entry. I did not know about this place. Let me think. I think here we just put Kenny Castle to the front and let him take on these water types or fighting types, whatever they have. Yeah, it's just Brave Bird, who cares. Apparently, 
and there's also a uber set for tentacruel yeah, with focus slash i don't know why you would use such a set but that's interesting with toxic spikes rapid spin ice event and hydro pump Brave but everything nice Kamikaze, finally doing some Kamikaze moves. My choke. Let's get, let's obliterate it. Sadly, no attack at least. We can accumulate with Kamikaze. Napoleon finally reached level 50. Last resort, I, I'm not so sure if we should teach it. Last resort. There's no way we can get. Oh, okay. So here we can use surf. Get out. Use surf. Get out. Okay, this is a double battle. Wow, okay, this guy really doesn't want a one on one fight with us. Imagine. So, what does she have? Affinion, wow. Can we one hit kill it with. Let's pray, but who cares? Just. It's just a finial. I noticed we didn't talk about the other evolutions. We might as well do that. I think all of them are usable in game. And in Platin. It's very good here. Let's start with the best one, Jolteon. The set you might want to run is the Choice Max set with Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Ice or Grass, and the last slot for Signal Beam. There's no hidden uh, button pass sets recommended. I think you can just slap button pass one of its smooth slots and it will do fine. But button pass is a nice utility move. This generation has no um, vault switch, so your options are rather limited. Thunder Wave is a good utility move if you want to run it. Can slap um, rest, um, I mean sleep talk, into its move set if just for checking some sleepers. And why don't we hit any of our brave birds? I think there was a time people experimented with a charge beam button pass set. I, I don't know how it would turn out. And also another good Pokemon in OU is the offensive button pass set Vaporeon. Vaporeon, you know how annoying it is to kill. It mostly, when you think of Baton Pass, especially in old gens, Vaporeon is a, a nice in-between receiver. It can use its signature move, uh, Asset Armor, I think. To get some defense boost. You, it can set up Aqua Ring and or substitute and then you can just button pass to something else. Um, Smogon recommends an offensive button pass set with substitute and water ice coverage, hydro pump or surf and ice beam. And Vaporeon in game is probably a good option considering it can learn Aurora Beam per level up. But you, have, you don't need to buy ice beam for uh, specifically for it 
wouldn't be bad to teach at Ice Beam anyways, but for a while it, it has ways to get past water types. Also it can still learn Signal Beam, Shadow Ball, also Evolution special moves. Yeah, Evolutions are um, known for. Flareon is not as lucky as you can imagine. And it doesn't have Flare Blitz. It competitively. And the only sets Morgan Recommends are all special. The other physical sets. If you want to run a physical Flareon, I would imagine. You give it a Scarf or Choice Band, Max Speed, Max Attack. Fire Fang is your only reliable stab option. Quick Attack. <laughs> Super Power and Baton Pass. This is, the, this is the closest you can scrap some value of the atta physical attacking set. And maybe return. And competitively speaking, at least, uh, Smogon Autorec commands the uh, wish supports that have wish, wish rip, protect, toxic, and the last slot for Lava Plume basically are uh, to spread burns. Uh, they also have our choice specs, a uh, choice scarf set with. Fire Blast Return, Super Paul HP Grass. My uh, in game um, Flavion special attack is not too bad. I think you can run pretty much any offensive sets you want for in game. You can just slap both special and physical attacks and it will do fine. Um, Fire Blast is a t early TM, so you can teach that. Return. Super Power you won't be having access to because it's post-game and uh, shard move. Um, but you can teach it overheat, you can teach it late overheat, you probably won't get access to. You can teach it Shadow Ball, so all the evolution moves, you can teach it, it will have three move slots. So you will probably teach it Dig, which is a physical move, but uh, it got buffed back to 80 base power in generation 4, so it's not completely useless. And you have nice utility in terms of if you want to escape caves, but you don't want to invest uh, money for certain moves. Let's go here, heal up and um, get some more items. And beat up some trainers on the way. Yeah, I would probably choose to use a physical attacking Flaria regardless. Not in game, in game probably. I will not use Flareon. But considering considering how well Glaceon does, I'm sure Flareon does just as well. The thing that makes Flare and uh, Glaceon so appealing is generally is that it can defeat Garchomp. It can but we don't know of if we have a good enough Glaceon that can take on it. Take on, on it. That's why the investment. Generally you can beat the game with any Pokemon. We didn't manage to get a double battle here. Now we have to do two, to do two encounter matches.
since we probably won't see all the fossil Pokemon, let's talk about Armaldo, who is a new bug, bug fight, bug, bug type. It, prob it has a similar s move pool to Capitops, but it's a bug type, so it's worse. Then Smogon recommends a physical sword dance set with X as a Stone Edge and Earthquake. You won't use it in game yet since we probably we cannot find you cannot catch or obtain fossils of Armaldos pre evolution in this game. So we I'm gonna talk about its competitive set. I think that applies to all fossils except for the gem 4 fossils, but you can obtain the fossils of these Pokemon in this game. A rock polish set with Exes, Stone Age, Earthquake. A support set with Rapid Spin, Stealth, Rock, Toxic, or Knock Off, and the last lot for Rock Blast or Rock Slide. Well, you can start with Choice Man set, obviously, since it can learn Super Pole, it can learn Aqua Tail, and its massive step. Move pool, uh, step moves, excessor, stone edge, and obviously earthquake for courage. And like all, almost every set, this small gun set is for you. <laughs> What's with all the you you sets? I assume. At the time they made a set for Yuyu and Enyu was not really planned as a tier. It was planned as a tier but not as something you would see. Relevant enough to make analysis for. So they made all the analysis for Yuyu use in mind. So I hope people would use them in Yuyu for some reason. Hopefully that changes uh, in the future. Another goldie. It's close combat here. Again. I think I U turn here this time. And I'm gonna get a safe switch to Infernape. Oh the U turn mechanic works different in this game. So you switch out and then the opponent gets defeated. Interesting. Instead of talking all the fossil Pokemon, let's talk about Arbok, because why not? So awful this Pokemon. And they have a UU set for this <laughs> In game you pr you have no access to Arbok, so I'm not gonna talk about it, how good it is in, in game. It's oh, this says you can do a lot of things with Arbok regardless because it has Intimidate, it has Shed Shell, but you probably won't use Shed Shell in this regard because it doesn't have Call this generation. Oh, there's a Max Repel, which is nice. We just ran out of Repel here. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what he has. The other has nice utility move pool with Blair. You can glare your opponent. It has stab, gunk shot or poison jab. It can learn an earthquake, it can learn the seed bomb, it can learn crunch, it can learn the elemental things, it can learn rock slide, it can learn switcheroo, it's an egg move if you want to ram a choice band set. Um, Arbok has a lot to offer, generally, you probably won't teach it Giga Drain. You can teach it the Elemental Fang Ice Fang. I think it pretty much learns all the Elemental Fangs. Electric, Fire... Does it learn Fire? Yeah, it learns also Fire Fang. A rock Tomb for utility. A Pursuit. I don't think you want to Pursuit Trap anything with Arbok of all Pokemon, but it's possible. Aqua Tail is an option. And Aqua Tail also. Let's talk about the evolution while we add it. Just clean as the Viper is not an evolution. And Swiper is. Basically also Arbok, but technically worse, but it has a better sp special attack. Actually, it has a usable special attack. None of the Smogon analysis really recommend you use a special or mixed survivor from what I've seen. Or oh, Carbos, we can give it to... Nesprit. I will give it to Nesprit. And obviously it can learn Poison Jab. It can learn similar moves to Arbok. Poison Jab, Earthquakes, it can learn Sucker Punch. Arbok can also learn Sucker Punch if I recall. And this, I'm not sure if it can learn at this generation. This generation Arbok cannot learn Sucker Punch, which is sad. But Swiper can, so you are sad. Now Aqua Tail can go for Choice Scuff with Switcheroo, Poison Jab, Earthquake, Crunch or Aqua Tail. Um, Swiper can learn Giga Drain, but Giga Drain this generation has just 60 base power. It can learn Dark Pulse, it can learn Flamethrower, it can learn Sludge Bomb. So I think there's, there's room for a special Swipe set. It can learn x but I don't think you want to run a x Swiper because Bug, Poison, uh, don't really, this generation, had anything usefully. It's a pretty bad coverage, it can learn knock off as well, if you need that. Uh, Swiper has the signature move Poison Tail. But... Uh, I don't know about that, if you want to teach it, you could. It has a high poison and crit chance, a 10% poison chance, it's 50 base power so it's bad. I was imagining it had 60 base power, 60 base power is also bad but it's something and it's a signature move. I would have hoped a little bit better from Swiper but I guess it's a bit too much to ask. Okay, what is this? Okay, you can also go from here, so I wasted my time for nothing. But I don't remember this route in the original Diamond Pill. That's breezeable. Uh, 
let's return here. Yeah, Ampharos. Let's talk about Ampharos. Ampharos has a pretty limited move pool, but it, it's an electric type that can learn Heal Bell. It's bulky, it has high special attack. You can go for Rain Supporter with Thunder, Hidden Power, Water, and then. It has a nice utility move pool with Safeguard, Light Screens, and Reflect. So Maybe you can go for a light clay set, setting up screens. You could go for a choice spec set with Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, Hidden Power Ice, Signal Beam, or Hidden Power Grass. Focus Blast, it has nice move pool. This generation, it doesn't have, from what I know, Dragon Boots. Because it's a gen 5 move, a gen 6 move, that was added because of Mega Arm for us. Can also learn Power Gem, I completely forgot about, forgot about that. I don't know what you hit with um, Arm for us, uh, with Power Gem or why you would run Power Gem. I think there's not a lot of I, for some reason Smogon doesn't recommend Power Gem in any moveset of a Pokemon that already learns Power Gem. Must be... It's really curious. You can run a substitute Focus Punch set because Ampharos has decent attack I recall. Oh no, 75, never mind. So I would not recommend it. <laughs> I take it back, don't don't use that set. Float float so oh, this thing. It's close to that. Um Dylan has been defeated. And now another poor team. Would have been useful if we came here earlier. But maybe if we find some anti special attack berries. We can take care of that. Yeah, Arcanine is a good Pokemon this generation. It has a massive move pool. Can just run a... Uh, both abilities are pretty much useful. Slash Fire for checking fire types. Intimidate to weaken physical attackers. Physical move pool insane. Flare Blitz. Thunder Fang, Extreme Speed, and Crunch. Does Iron Head? Does it learn? Doesn't learn close combat this generation, but you probably don't want to. You could maybe slap an Outrage to its move pool, but oh, it cannot learn Outrage this generation. That's not too bad. Its special move pool is also fine in this generation is still usable because the power creep hasn't happened yet. So there's a power creep but it is not that significant. Smogon does recommend a special attack in Arcanine. And Arcanine's special attack is I think 100. So it does it does surpass the benchmark. 100 is good by this generation standard. So, Flamethrower, Hidden Power, Dragon Pulse, Overheat, not a massive special move pool, but it's, it does the job. I prefer the physical move pool, and 
Arcanine learns Morning Sun, which builds some of its HP, so life offset is nice. It can learn the world. You could use a rest talk set with flat let's and four. Um, a defensive set with because it has intimidate you can just teach it will of this Arcanine can learn will of this it can learn toxic okay. does he learn anything useful utility wise thief you don't need thief substitute can always come in handy almost anything learns substitute so that's not much to brag about Agility, uh, aerial ace. Mm. I think it's pretty much anything that was mentioned seem for uh, Arcanine seems to be good enough. Just put a muscle repel on. Pure essence. I don't know for what that is. I never have been in this house. Hopefully, there's something useful. If we get something with level 35, this guy will be happy. We have Zeno's death. It's one level. A way to get that hit that benchmark, but I think we are not going there. Yeah. Can beat this trainer. Um. This cherry, we just flame through it. No need to play around. And we started with the uh, high A level Pokemon with the uh, first letter. Let's go for the last letter with Sangus. Another water type. We haven't seen enough water types today, I guess. Sangus 90 base speed and 115 attack normal type with immunity uh, against poison type moves. Really makes it that. Good setup sweeper, I think. Especially for this generation. I will still attack this with fire. I'm not gonna waste my fighting types. Titans. And so, Sword Dance set is pretty nice. Return, quick attack, Shadow Claw, close combat, Existor. Can do decent amount of things with Zangus. You can also learn Payback, don't know if you want to teach it that move. This move is rather limited to this generation, does it not get close combat? This generation it doesn't get close combat, wow. It's kinda... Oh it does learn close combat, why doesn't Smoke on recommend close combat on this thing? Well it did, I... And I probably mentioned it, but mentally I just ignored it. Yeah, you got the ghost fighting coverage, which is nice. We found X is a. we not gonna teach it to anything, it's just a money maker. We hope we made more money than we wasted using all these repels. Okay, this fight is easy. We lose our attack stat, but we don't need it, we just flame her. Banette this generation is pretty bad. This thing is so slow. It's a ghost type, so you think it would be a nice spin blocker, but it's so frail. The only niche Banette has is to die. 
so you give it focus slash you hope all your ids are zero except attack you max out your attack you have great nature on it and you teach a trick room and destiny bound and the last slots are just taunt or shadow claw you don't want anything else it's it dies and after it dies you bring in your trick room sweeper because you're not sweeping with Barnett because Barnett has an awful offensive move pool. It has nice utility but you don't use Barnett to have utility, you use Barnett to get something safely in. Complete contrary to Dusk does clubs which got insanely much much better this generation okay with this we pretty much defeated almost anyone we wanted Now let's go to the bottom layer and defeat the trainers there. And collect the items we get. Splash plate. This boosts our water type moves. We haven't found anything that gives us more power to our fire type moves. Which would be actually what we want. This generation, it's still like anything that can learn explosion has a small niche. Oh, we could have seen this tentacle and those that accent me, guess we wasted our times. Let's talk about Executor, who still is a good Pokemon by this point, because you can't teach it like teach it explosion. You cannot catch it in this game I think at least not in game for your in game run um, executor learns grass type moves and psychic type moves as a grass a psychic like syllabi so leaf storms one of the moves you can use you can teach it Psychic, you can teach a synthesis to heal, you can spread seed powder, it can learn locate, it can obviously learn explosion, which is the appeal of executor. And another thing is the sunny day set because it has chlorophyll as its only ability, so solar beam psychic, uh, solar beam is also an option. Light clay set with dual screens. And you can run out quick. Because Executor is not particularly fast outside of Trick Room. You can. Um, outside, outside the sun, you can use a Trick Room set as well. Another utility is not the best. It can learn 
Asian power, you can teach it hidden power of your choice. A curse set, it doesn't work I think because the, the only physical... Well, the curse set could work with Seed Bomb and does it learn the head? Yeah, it can learn some headbutt and wood hammer. So this is a possibility if you want to try out something different. Executor is a decent physical move pool. Especially with, exp with explosion. You probably are willing to try something out with it. Okay, we have done this. Let's go here. Heal up and battle some more trains. How much money did we gain from all this? Wait, how much? It's a decent amount. A little bit more and we can buy Ice Beam. And Glaceon got a decent amount of experience from all this. I hope you guys don't mind me grinding on screen. Because we are not grinding in a traditional sense, we are grinding on screen with and exploring at the same time. And while doing that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Pokemon you can catch. You can catch the Pokemon this generation was particularly known for. What Pokemon it wasn't known for? Like you probably don't use Blossom. Uh, we talked about Cricketune, I think, and um, it's a pretty bad Pokemon in game. You get it really early, level 10 evolution, and it has 80 attack, base attack. It does okay for the early game. Um. But it will fall off relatively quickly. And competitively, the only thing you think you probably think about doing its ability is from so at pinchberry range it will get an attack boost for its bug type moves. Excessor can learn sword dance, it can learn brick break, it can learn taunt. Night Slash, and obviously you can slap Return or Area Lace, depending on what you need to hit. Knock Off is nice utility. And that's pretty much it. Not nothing else. Maybe Sleep Talk if you want run the choice set so you have something. You can use it as Sleep Absorber and then... <laughs> Randomly hopes that your text hit. <laughs> and let's talk about uh, the evolutions of blue. Uh, starting off with Blossom, which is probably the worst version. It's a monograss type and it it's, has a 5D base speed, and the only set you want to use this is sunny day set because it's it lacks coverage pretty much it has nothing to offer besides grass type moves and the best grass type moves that learns is solar beam and giga and leaf storm if you run hidden power fire or morning sun you probably want some so you teach it sunny day and sleep powder that's pretty much it and Wild Bloom has a little bit more to offer because it is part psychic type, so it can you take advantage of Stab Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, Energy Ball, Moonlight. Obviously, it will also have a Sunny Day set with Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, but you can run a defensive set. You can run Aroma Therapy, 
I think you could technically go for a physical set. If it learns Seed Bomb, it should be able to learn Seed Bomb, yes. Seed Bomb, Swat Bands, Poison Jab. It learns Poison Jab, right? And just... Let me just take a look. Apparently it cannot learn Poison Jab. Which is kind of surprising. Can learn the Drain Punch. <laughs> well, Drain Punch is not too bad. 60 base power, but 5 PP, okay, never mind. Yeah, don't use physical Wild Plume this generation. It was viable last generation because Sludge Bomb was more powerful and physical. This generation, you probably don't want to use a physical bulb. Here, those that's a problem. I think here the hot switch to desperate. Oh no, Trista. But now it's dead. Since we talked about Wild Plume, we can talk about Big Trick Bell, which is probably one of the best Sun Sweepers in this game. On a sunny day, you can set your own sun up, obviously, your sunny day. It can learn Desert Ball. So in the sun it becomes a fire type move with 150 base power I think. I'm not so sure it gets fire boosts. It gets insanely strong, let's say that. You can do a snatch bob, you can slap hidden power of your choice ice or uh, or rock probably. Why why does he have that garden? Uh, solar beam, leaf storm, azure. Offensive grass type moves, sleep powder. Su it can learn sucker punch if you want to go for a mixed centred um, set. It can learn morning sun. It can learn synthesis. One other turn. Can go for a physical set because. Also learns sword bands and leaf blade. Uh, does it learn anything else? Sadly not, but you have enough options I feel. So Victory Bell pretty good Pokemon. But now we switch out to something that can beat this Gyarados because we have minus two attack. I don't know if I talked about Crowdont. This generation is a little bit better than previous generation because now it has physical stab moves, crunch, waterfall, crab hammer. So here, real quick. Super power, exercise, aerial ace. It still has 90 special attacks, so you can stab some special moves as for a certain coverage. But it learns Dragon Dance and Slot Dance, so you probably go for a physical set, just Choice Band set, and hit already hard enough. Should be the bike route, or is this? This is the bike route, I think. So okay, let's go here. So what regarding? Crowd on you are pretty much covered. Mm. I think we forgot Flash. 
what I wanted to do is we try to do the beard mission with with that girl that wants us to use flash, but how much is flash? I think it's a little bit too expensive to go for it. Do we are there any other trainers we can beat up? Well, let's get rid of some items first. Water stone and the essence and the splash plate. And some T TM moves we don't need. Flame, we don't need flame, we don't need Sazaf, we don't need Dream Eater. <coughs> and we should have enough to buy Ice Beam. We are 1000 too short. We get 20 coins. Nice. I hope sadly this will not be enough to buy anything. What about you? Okay, we need a little bit more. Where can we explore? What can we explore besides the cave? I don't want to blind but okay maybe there are items we can sell around so let's deposit Venus there temporary and take tropium with us tropium should have cut Tropium, we can get that other item from Sunny Show. Besides, we beat some trainers, and trainers also give some money. But we are not gonna waste any more repels here. Oh god. Okay, fine. Who is that? It's Gok! And Gleiger, like I said the German name for some reason. So you can catch it, but I don't know. I'm not sure when you get the item to evolve it. But Gleiger like is, I think, useful enough that you do not need whatever. That's Punita. Why is it not? Did we beat him? Oh, really? It can't be. I, I recall that. Recall the entered here. Another Gliga. Got a super repel. It's 
see what he has. I think he has rock type Pokemon, but we just spam fire Titans, doesn't matter. Starts off with Onyx level 18. 18 is way too low. There's no way it survives a flamethrower from a fully evolved Pokemon. And its level, its special defense is pretty bad. Next up is Onyx. Wait, we defeated Onyx earlier. Wow, well, now it's two levels higher, so it's. That's more difficult, right? I could technically just use the Battle Finder to trigger another battle against that rich dude. But for now, let's keep it as it is. This is the hidden cave. This is where you can catch. Okay, this looks kind of different than it used to. Okay, let's start exploring. It looks different than I remember. Normally, you need strength to get access to this cave, but the Luckily they removed that stupid restriction. You can catch Bronzo here, but I think there are plenty of places you can catch that thing. And I think this is where you find Gibbite. Already finding this hidden cave is difficult enough, because not everyone talks to NPCs. There's Zubat, where you can catch Zubat. Like, they, there are plenty of places you can catch Zubat. So. And, okay, this is like this. So we. Let's see how we do this. I'm purposely not wasting any repels because I want to see if you can catch. I want to confirm if you can find Gibble still this area. Okay, let's face a repel. This time a uh, super repel. Okay, I Okay, this is not what I thought. Pretty worthless item. Oh, 
and he is where you find Earthquake. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's go back and try to get back that. Try to get that. Just use uh, escape rope here. That's what I will do. Let's just escape here and then use escape rope. Rare candy, this is what we want. We have a decent amount of rare candies. And to do what we need to do. Normally, is this is where you would catch Gibble. I'm not sure if you can catch Gibble, really. This is a normal entrance to the cave, but I don't think we want to do that. Let's go and fly back to Sunny Shore. It's that last item, and because we have Propium in our team. Okay, we give it to... I could sell it, but I don't think the... Giving up on these EVs is worth the amount of money we can get. Okay, we stand here and hopefully both or one of them wants to... Oh no, that's the wrong one. We have versus seeker. Versus seeker. Okay, there's a trainer we wanted to fight anyways. We need some money. <sighs> Train sense of luck straight. We have flamethrower and we have fire blast. He doesn't even have Intimidate, which is interesting, but that's decent. This works to our favor if we need it to. We need waste less turns, that's what I mean. Thank you, rich boy train. We get about this much money. How much money do we have? Uh, we can buy just one. We sell the items we have gotten so far. Yeah, this is not enough. Let's try to get another match with him. We go like this and go back. This is how I did attack train. These two trainers give you attack IVs. And the other trainer gives you attack IVs with Gyarados. That's 4 attack IVs and 3 attack IVs from this rich dude. The thing is, uh, with Pokeros it stacks up very really well. Oh, so that's a combo, basically. And because I'm used to, I normally register it immediately when I start EV train. I accidentally keep getting out of the, off the bike. So you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, here I don't intend 
to use a fear seeker that often. Okay, this guy wants battle us. Okay, we get attack IV spots. We also get a lot of experience. Gyarados gives you lots of lots of experience. Luckily he has not a Gyarados yet. This is a magic card which gives us speed IVs. But he will get a Gyarados at some point. After some more matches. One Gyarados already, okay. Atomic Thunderbolt. Useful if we had Gratina, but we do not have Gratina. Normal same person would not do that, but we are not. We just want to finish the game and do some post game content. Yeah, now we have enough to buy Ice Beam. And with this, we pretty much complete the quests. We intended to do. Now I need to be careful. Ice Beam is 13, this one. And now I need to be careful that I teach Ice Beam to the correct move slot. don't want charm anymore. It can come in handy, but I think Ice Beam is just too useful to pass on. So we have two useful Pokemon that can take care of of Garchomp. If plan A fails, we have plan B and so on. I will just... I will add Yuxi to our team, Sleepy Boy. And we still add Xenos Dad to our team, because Xenos Dad has better stats generally. And better stats means that we can just... And last a little bit longer and we can waste more PP of the opponent. I don't think any of the opposing Pokemon have what is it called? Uh, setup moves. We will see each other next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.